In this episode, we're going to go over the recent Pittsburgh shooting at the Tree of Lo Logic Synagogue. Welcome to the Charles Carroll Society. I'm your host, the self-appointed bard of the American Readout. One of the reasons I'm choosing to do this video, I normally don't do response videos to significant events here, is that I believe that one of the purposes of this channel, the blog, and the few social media sites I have is to attempt to get out an alternative and more truthful, more balanced look at events. I truly believe that we're about to be and continue to be smashed with the legacy lying liberal media take on things. They will they will lie because they will they will skip over certain things and they will highlight other things and they will attempt to um, smear entire groups of people. They don't ever smear groups of people when it comes to one illegal immigrant doing crime. They don't smear groups of people when it comes to Islamic refugees doing committing attacks or Muslims committing attack. But as soon as there's an event that includes a gun, you'll watch the progressive left kick in high gear to begin to smear all gun owners. So I believe it's imperative for our side to get the truth out. And thanks a lot for sharing and commenting and giving a thumbs up. The Associated Press and several other media outlets are identifying uh, an event. A shooter, apparently by the name of Robert Bowers, went into a synagogue in Pittsburgh, the Tree of Life Synagogue, where he killed at least 11 men, women, and children who were peacefully minding their own business in their own synagogue. Uh, he then uh, barricaded himself in the third story floor and engaged in a shootout with SWAT, where he apparently wounded approximately four officers. Two of them are still in critical condition. One of the reasons that we know more about this shooter is because we were able to look at his social media account. Often when these things happen, social media giants such as Facebook and Twitter and many people, the guy who was the MAGA uh, bomber had a big uh, Facebook account, they immediately delete the account so that the rest of us don't know what this guy was about. This guy uh, did a lot, Robert Bowers, who attacked uh, and slaughtered these people, uh, these Jews going to a synagogue used a um, gab, which is an alternative to Twitter. It's a free speech alternative to Twitter. It's not an alt-right or a white nationalist or white supremacist site. It's just a site that is dedicated to freedom of speech, unlike m almost all of the large sites which are controlled by progressives and globalists uh, who attempt to con constrain or, um, or, or, you know, crush freedom of speech or only want to allow freedom of speech from their side. If you go look to Twitter and see the blue checks, you can see that all the liberals and progressives have this blue check while many of the conservatives do not. One of the reasons that we know about the social media, Gab actually took the same action that apparently is standard in the industry. They deleted his account and backed up all his data and then let the FBI know that they have it. And Gab said, and they were very fair and said, hey, look, you know, we're not just because this guy used our account doesn't mean that our account had anything to do with it. As they said correctly, there's only one person who's responsible for going in and murdering a bunch of people. And that is this Robert Bauer. He's the one who murdered a bunch of people, not uh, Facebook, not Twitter, not Gab. One of the things that you will not hear from the mainstream media is that this guy was an incredible hated President Trump a lot. He um, he made up one he made one comment in Gap where he said I do not own I did not vote for President Trump I do not own a MAGA hat I've never owned a MAGA hat what and I would never touch a MAGA hat and one of the guys on Gab who has like a parody account that parodies a black guy I guess low IQ black guy or low IQ Negro or something like that responded and said um, that's too bad because Trump make America great gear gear is great to burn. Robert Bauer on, on Gab also attacked President Trump and claimed that he was a globalist, not a nationalist. He was extremely unhappy with President Trump because President Trump had come out against the Unite the Right, which I generally call the Unite the White Nationalists of the Right rally in Charlottesville. And he was very displeased with that. He was very displeased that America, that President Trump had routinely said that if you're any American, if you're if whatever your ethnicity in, in America, you should have the ability to have opportunity here. He was very upset that President Trump had said that. Another reason that President, this uh, Robert Bauer apparently hated President Trump is because, as you will not be hearing on mainstream media, uh, Jared Kushner, who is President Trump's son-in-law, is an Orthodox Jew. Um, and 
uh, President Trump's daughter, Ivanka Trump, actually converted to Orthodox Judaism, and thus all their children are Jews and are being raised in a Jewish faith. This guy was very upset that President Trump had done this and seemed to have a real problem and a real issue with that. Again, what you won't be hearing from the legacy media is how much this guy hated President Trump, that this guy went into a synagogue, he wanted to kill all Jews, which would include President Trump's own daughter and his grandchildren. You won't be uh, hearing much of that on the legacy media. Instead of what you, you will be hearing is them, uh, them blame conservatives, they will blame Republicans, they will blame President Trump, they will attempt to score political points, and then they will attempt to smear all lawful gun owners in America as if the gun that the millions and millions of guns we all have jumped up and did anything. So please make sure that we don't buy into this. Uh, and remember, one of the things that I feel terrible about is that as these events happen, one of the things that we're not talking about is the migrant caravan headed toward our border, which 10,000 people who we don't know who's in it. We're not talking about the amazing amount of um, economic success that President Trump and the Republicans have had in the Congress in the first two years. It seems to me to be convenient that these events happen 10 days before an, or 10 or 12 days before an election. So please keep safe out there. I think I'll link in this description video an article I did a while back on how to secure your church and some of the things that you guys should be thinking about and when you're securing your churches and synagogues. As you see, it doesn't matter if the police get there in two or three minutes. A person with one gun, shotgun, whatever firearm, can do a lot of damage in two or three minutes. We should remember the NRA hero who actually appeared to have uh, limited the damage that was done in that uh, school, that uh, church shooting um, in Texas. This is the kind of things we need to take a look at. So uh, I have a link to the video in, in on my blog, I mean, link to the blog post, and you guys can take a look at that. Uh, so to keep, uh, so keep safe out there, drop any comments and, and ways to uh, improve our protection of our, our churches, ourselves with legal gun owners. Viva Crystal Ray, Viva Crystal Ray, Viva Crystal Ray, either Virgin Guadalupe.